thanks so much, everyone. That was one of my better jokes. <laughs> I get back to the Isle of Fool To the cutting fields of gold And spend my days in quiet labor And watch the time, the time unfold Should I get back? Should I get back? I get back to that bay and sky I watch the cabin there And spend my days with the seals and the seabirds And learn of sky and sea and air Should I get back? Oh, should I get back? I get back to the Isle of St. Kilda I will watch the Gannet sail There's a village that I have seen there Beyond the mist, beyond the pale Should I get back? There is a tomb on where I've seen the other side A thousand years of prayer before me Let those prayers be my guide Should I get back? Oh, should I get back? I know you must travel I know you must roam It's born in the blood That you're far, far from home And I wish you safe passage And I hope that you're well Send me a postcard from the world It's green in the garden Sky mostly blue. Your friends have come over and they asked after you. We tell them your stories and say that you're fine. We miss you most of the time. There have been some times I have regrets We pushed and we pulled And you flew from the nest But we wish you 
safe passage and hope that you're well. Send me a postcard from the world. Send us a postcard, maybe an email. Send me a postcard from the world. This is another song that maybe will leave the set list. Maybe. This song is called The Ballad of Mark Jarus, and I'm singing in the role of a First Nation kid in Hopedale, Labrador. At the time I wrote the song, uh, Mark, it's Mark's not his real name, uh, Mark was 12 years old. And um, I was visiting Hopedale, and we had this halting conversation. I won't go into it this afternoon, but we you know, took half an hour before he decided to tell me that he, what he really wanted to do was go for a ride in my Zodiac. We got out into the harbor and we're tooling around and his shyness disappeared. He said, I probably could drive it as good as you. <laughs> I said, well, have you ever driven a, a outward? No, but it doesn't look that hard, he says to me. And suddenly this halting voice was now filled with confidence and I, saw, I, I stood sort of between him and he, he's driving it, you know, and he's doing okay. So uh, with some confidence, I said, can you slow down? He slows down, and we're going to go back to the pier now. And so I get up with the painter on the bow of the Zodiac, and I'm about to hop on when he guns the engine, and it hits the pier. Well, I continue to go forward uh, <laughs> on to the pier, uh, you know, uh, with some sli slivers and all. And I said, uh, you, you might work on, 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 the, uh, uh, on the docking. And he said, yeah, well, you do. We need to go out again, don't we? <laughs> so we did. And then he said, why don't we go out to the ship? Which is what his real agenda was the whole time. You know, there's a red ship out in the harbor. And I said, no, I can't do that. You know, you, the, the, all your friends are anarchists. And, I, and, and, uh, and uh, there's 250 of you who want to go on the ship. And we can't do that. And he said, I promise, I won't tell anybody. So he went out. And I, I radioed the ship and said he was coming and give him a little tour. So I stayed down on the gangway with the boat, and he went up there, and the ship had was, uh, the hotel staff were all from Russia, Russian women who hadn't seen their kids in two years. So they gave all these gifts to him. Then he went up to the, to the top deck to the captain's quarters, and the captain gave him a hat, you know, a captain's hat. And he comes down the gangway looking just like a Cheshire cat, and I, I looked up, and I, I'd worked on that ship for five years. Did I ever get a hat? No, but he comes down and, and I, I said, look at what I got, he says, and I go, yeah, I'm worried about that. He says, I got it figured out, Ian. We're going to go take this stuff to my aunt's place and hide it there so nobody sees it. And we do, he was clearly thinking ahead. We did, and then I see him running around the, 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 the harbor and he meets me back and he was good to his word, looked after my, the, the Zodiac whenever I couldn't be there. All day, never told a soul. So I do this song, put it on album. Eight o'clock in the morning, a year and a half, two years later, I get this call. Did you write that song, Ballad of Mark Jarus? And I go, yeah, I did. He says, well, we're the ad hoc committee of, of Hopedale Labrador, and we're just writing, phoning to tell you there's no Mark Jarus in Hopedale. And I said, yeah, I know that. I just didn't want to uh, send a remote. You know, I didn't want to. Well, that didn't work either. We know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Mark Jervis I'm in grade six I was born in Hotel Labrador He had the brand new running shoes Got them new for school Say, what you guys come to Hopedale for? 
And the time goes slow on Sundays And the time goes slow on Sundays My sister made these whales She's in the band at school She'll be playing for you guys later on yeah, the summer here was good. Not so much to do. Say, where does that ship you come here on come from? And the time goes slow on Sundays. And the time goes slow. Yeah, I think she done them good. The whales were here last spring. No, they're gone. They won't be coming back. No, we weren't out on the land. My uncle took the boat. My dad, he's gone to Halifax. And the time goes Coast Guard had them here last spring I really like your ship Could I go on that ship? Will you guys be coming back again? And the time goes slow on Sundays My name is Mark Jarus I'm in grade six I was born in Hope Del Labrador. Yeah, the brand new run shoes. Got them new for school. Say, what you guys come to Hope Del for? And the time goes slow on Sunday. Part of the northern river, through the glass all ripple, clouds and trees and more. To the black spruce and black spruce, onward ever deeper, calm this restless heart, soothe the restless soul. I am a raven high over the river, I am the dark wings carry me home. I am the night sky, deeper and deeper So many stars, always alone To the black spruce, black spruce Heart of the northern river Through the glass are ripple Clouds and trees are known To the black spruce, black spruce Onward, ever deeper Calm this restless heart Soothe the restless soul I am the wind side night through the jack pines. I am the flurry of birds on the way. I am the whisper at the heart of you calling. I'm the heart beat pounding through the 
black spruce, black spruce, heart of the northern river. Through the glass of the pool, clouds and trees, I know. To the black spruce, black spruce, onward, ever deeper, calm this restless heart, soothe the restless soul. I am the storm clouds building and building. I am the fury, the thunder, the light. I am bird song, rain drops sing the morning. I am white water heard in the night. To the black spruce, black spruce, heart of the northern river. Through the glass of the full clouds and trees I know. To the black spruce, black spruce, onward ever deeper. Calm the restless heart, soothe the restless soul. I am these things, all of your longing, all of your questions you ask me no more, for I am the whisper at the heart of your longing. Comfort your heart and slip through the door. That's the black spruce, black spruce, heart of the northern river, through the glass or ripple clouds and trees I know. To the black spruce, black spruce, onward ever deeper, calm this restless heart, soothe the restless soul. this at the sugar bush last spring and it was a, a day when the the temperature was just right and the the mist was coming off the snow and it was uh, and I looked up and the trees were like these black shadows that had been raining and then the mist and it was just perfect and um, it was like the trees were having a conversation with me you know I'm not Diana Bereford's Kruger with her, uh, you know, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, but I have attuned myself more to trees uh, of late. But really the song was just to basically call to you, saying, even though we have COVID, the transmission is still there. We're still transmitting. We're, just, we're still on the air, you know. And... Uh, I wrote a play last year on the ice storm, and I realized like the big difference with the ice storm was we could do something. We could do, we could get out, and we could, you know, clear a road, chop trees down, get the power back, and we had a sense of community. And and I have to say, I find the internet such an incomplete form of community. I, you know, I want to have dinner with people. I want to be able to talk about s stuff and and the distance and and even Zoom calls. I found. There was something missing, and, and with you people assembled here this afternoon, that conductivity of just being together, that sense of communities, it's so important. It's, it's really important. She gave you a tree. Wow. Maybe if I'm good, she'll give me a tamarack. I like to have a tamarack. In the midst of it all, I won't fail you. In the midst of it all, I'll be there. Though at times I strain to see you. Be at peace, pay no mind, don't despair. And in the midst of it all, in the twilight, in the midst of it all and at dawn I will see you now before me Be at peace, I'll be there before long And when the morning sun comes rising Through the mist above the snow And the sh trees shine through the shadows I'm the only one I know For now I see you walking And you are walking 
by my side Through the mist, the sun now burning And in time, this will pass by and by In the mist of it all, I won't fail you Thank you.